Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we have the ROG Phone 6D Ultimate. And you're going, wait, there's another ROG Phone there. Well, there used to be the ROG Phone 6 Pro, which we covered on the channel earlier. It's right here in my hand. But the 6D Ultimate is a slightly different and similar device uh, because it comes with a MediaTek Dimensity 9000 Plus processor. This is the uh, first time we've had a MediaTek processor in a high-end gaming device like this. So I wanted to see how it actually stacks up against, of course, the, uh, the Qualcomm version. So this is sort of kind of like a Qualcomm versus MediaTek video, but not really in a sense. Let's first take a look at the uh, ROG Phone 60 Ultimate. So honestly, it looks like the ROG Phone 6 Pro. In design, it is very similar. If you look at the back of the devices, mine, of course, is the 60 has this uh, gray look to it, while, of course, the 6 Pro is white. You do have an LED display at the back for both devices. Camera modules are the same. There is no top um, LED there that says come to play on the 60. That's just been taken out. And then in terms of ports, you do have two ports on the device, two USB type C's, one on the bottom and one on the side of the device. And of course, a headphone jack, which again points to the fact that they have used the same chassis across the board. But we want to look at, of course, how this device actually handles. Now, display, of course, is 6.78 inches. Uh, as you'd expect, both of them go to 165 hertz. So you've got those display specs down. Let's talk about the brass tacks. Let's look at the processors here. So when we go ahead and open up Geek Benchmark for both of them, and we first check out the CPU scores. Here you see that the MediaTek device, the Dimensity uh, 9000 Plus on the left here, clearly beats out um, what we have from the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. It beats it out on, on CPU scores, and then we move over to compute scores. This is where we see a huge difference, almost a 2,000 points difference. So does that mean that MediaTek is clearly better? Not necessarily. It means it does run higher scores here, which is good to see. So what we're going to do is we're just going to show you some gameplay and show you clips from both devices, and you see the benchmarks and how they perform in each game. Of course, that will be Call of Duty Mobile, Genshin Impact, uh, Apex Legend Mobiles, and PUBG Mobile. And then you know, we'll move on from there. Okay, performance across both devices was quite impressive. And it was good to see that both of them performed well. And honestly, you're going to get from what you've seen, the same performance from both devices. You're getting that 90 frames per second on Call of Duty Mobile, which is great to see on both devices. You're also getting the max 60 frames per second in Apex Legends as well. And also getting 60 quite flawlessly on um, uh, Genshin Impact, even though the Snapdragon model did dip down to about 57, the, uh, of course, MediaTek model stayed at about 60, 61, pretty much for the average for the whole time. Now, the one thing to note is when you look at the console information for both devices here, the CPU for, while you're running at idle, the CPU and GPU for the MediaTek version does run a little hotter at 96 degrees, while, of course, the Snapdragon version is a 91 and, eight and about 91, also respectively, slightly. But the internal system temperatures are much lower for both of them, about 70, 77 to 80. So really close. I think the cooling that, of course, Asus has done with this, both devices, is pretty good. Now, 
What does this mean for performance and what does it mean for pricing? I honestly don't have pricing right now because I wasn't given pricing on this device, but it means that MediaTek has a processor that can compete with the highest levels that Qualcomm has uh, to offer, which is good to see more competition, which means next versions we're gonna see are gonna be much better more effective and also have just better performance overall. You also heard the speakers from both of them. They sounded really good. So I think Asus has not compromised by using two different processors. Take that Samsung, you know. Um, but there, here you have a device that has two different processors giving us the same set of results, which I definitely like to see. So let me know, which would you actually pick up? Would you pick up the MediaTek version? Would you pick up the, uh, the Snapdragon version, especially looking at the performance there, even though the MediaTek has higher benchmark scores from Geekbench? Let me know. Also go ahead and check out our other videos on the iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max Gaming. I know I don't have benchmarks on that, but I will be comparing that, that device with both of these because of course, those are the three top um, chipsets on the market. So stay tuned and always enjoy entertainment.